Okay, so we're going to have a little quick look at the, uh, the split step. Um, obviously, we all know what the split step is. It's just a reaction of trying to be ready for the next shot and being able to change direction when your opponent's just about to hit the ball. Okay, but in terms of the actual split step and the technique of the split step, I think it's important to look at a couple of different, uh, different ways to split step. So we've got the generic split step where you would be splitting and landing on both feet to then to move. Okay, so that is okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all if you're landing on both feet because at least it gives you a chance to actually get some spring up off the ground to be able to move. But if you can, the next sort of level of split stepping is whether or not you can actually anticipate where that ball is going and land on one foot rather than both feet. So for example, if someone's pushing me out wide to my forehand, have I got the ability now to actually see that, land on my outside leg, so it would be me being left-handed, my right leg, and then being able to push to get a bigger first stride to the ball. So if I'm pushed out wide, it would be more of a case of land on that leg, push, hit, and then recover. Just like if the ball got pushed out to my backhand side, I'd be landing on my left leg to be able to get a bigger first stride with my right. Okay, so there's two different types of ways to, to, uh, to split step there. You can land both feet, which will then make you move, probably not with as big a step, but is, a, is the sort of the easier way to do it. Or if you can anticipate or you can see early where the ball is going to go and you can land on one leg, then you're going to get a bigger stride with your first step out to the ball.